Look at that sign. Knives, Benchmade, Microtech, Spyderco, Kershaw, Gaybar, Swiss Army. So where would you see a sign like that? Well, today, I'm here with my buddy Billy. Hey, how's it going, Billy? How you doing, guys? And uh, Billy's gonna give me the tour here. I've been here many times, but it was many, many years ago. This is JT's Knife Shop, and this is located in Port Jervis, New York. It is a stone throw from the corner of Matamoras, Pennsylvania, and what is it, Montague, New Jersey? It's all right here. If you had a potato gun, you could shoot each other in different area. states. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to do a quick little tour. Uh, Billy's really good friends with him, and he's gonna give me the scoop, because it's been a while since I've been here. So we're gonna come check it out. So of course, uh, I can't leave without a knife. And I already have something in mind. You guys will have to guess and see. <laughs> but this place has really such a selection. Absolutely. You know? And this is how I always remember them, too. Because I came up here when I was a teenager. Been around a long time, but I remember this army dude. He's sporting the uh, Christmas hat, of course. So here's the uh, front. Let me show you real quick. It's right past the, uh, the Dunkin' Donuts down there. You can see they're moving across the street. But here it is in all its glory. Beautiful building filled with awesome knives and military stuff. What's not to like about that? All right, so we're going to look around a little bit. And then afterwards, we'll talk to, to JT. After you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right. So we're going to try to stay a little quiet since there's some customers walking around enjoying some different stuff. So right off the bat, we have all kinds of military things, camp stuff, cool quarters. I was talking to, uh, to Billy about this stuff, this micro cord. Looks pretty handy, like kind of like bank line. <laughs> they got some really nice stuff in here. The rain to rain pads, a little bit of everything, this mom and pop shop. Yeah. Locally owned. Cool stuff. It really is awesome. I mean, yeah. like I said, whatever you're into, if it's anything outdoors, you'll probably find it here. Where else can you go and buy a knife and, and coffee at the same time? I know, Black right? Rifle Coffee. Absolutely. Absolutely. They make, they make good stuff. There's a wide selection of clothing, actually, he has here. Caps, gloves, non-lethal awesome. stuff. He's got some spray. Yeah, it's a good option. Yeah, he's got See some fixed plates up here. Hello. Can I help you? All right, so let's swing around here. We got some uh, Nebo lights, binoculars, different optics. We got bags right away. Big Max Edition sign outside. A lot of Max Edition bags. We got a mirror, so there I am. <laughs> nice uh, dressing room here if you want to try on some BDUs or something. All right, Billy. All right. <laughs> Sneak through here. Yeah. All right. Again, a lot of wide variety of stuff here. Yeah. You know, kids' tea, small and large, all military stuff, military surplus. Well, and of course, all the hidden guns. Yeah, absolutely. They're always fun. Some relics. Yeah. I do. Love, I just love the feel of the shop. Absolutely, it's, it's homey. You know. You can really look around, come back, and see something new every time. You know. It's always something in this place. Always. That's cool clothes. Bushcraft guys. I don't know if you got a lot of bushcraft guys, but look at that. Yes, nice Some wool blankets. Wool, right? Wool blankets. Love it. Cool. It's winter time, northeastern Pennsylvania. That's it. Well, in New York and New Jersey. Exactly. Technically in New York right now. Yeah, Mosin up there. You got some grenade launchers. It's pretty cool stuff. So let's see. All right, getting into some sharp stuff here. Wonderful traditional buoy. What is that? A kukuri jack? Yes, it is. That's very nice. I'm not Beautiful. sure who makes that one. I'm not sure either. I think it's sweet looking. It looks really nice. Got some handcuffs, some shades. Tons of military stuff as well. It is, you know, knives and military surplus. Watch your stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot. You guys come in here. That's a, that's a little bit of a slope. <laughs> All right. So we got some patches, morale yeah, patches. Look at look, you got tool, box, tool pouches, right? This is cool. Actually, I have something similar to this. Mine's black. I like this camo. That's nice. a cool throwback camo. Some nice stuff. Yes. Oh, See, so you got goggles. I mean, there's seriously a little of everything here. Tents, bags, military surplus bags, canteens. Outrageous stuff. That's awesome. So how's it, your family been? How's that? We, we got a big old bucket of shirts here. 50% off all military stuff. 
Yeah, he's got a lot of it too. Boots. A lot of boots. A lot of clothing. All these bags again. This this Maxpedition. He's Maxpedition crazy, right? Yeah. I have to say, I'm a huge fan of Maxpedition. It's been a while since I tried something new because all the <coughs> stuff I've gotten, like diversity packs, they work great. So I never replace them. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? What is the old saying? Buy once, cry once. Absolutely. Right. You got you, you got the quality. Well, that's I mean, the thing. There's the stitching and stuff in here. The way it's boxed out yep. and crossed. Always Can't go fan. wrong. <laughs> Max Edition's old school too. Right. They've been around a while now. Proving himself. It's a cool vests. Boots on top of boots, and believe it or not, this is where I bought my first um, military jacket when I was younger. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And I, and matter of fact, I still actually have it. But it's cool, right? You know, it's funny, my dad's got his in the closet. We always joke around one day he's got to try to fit into it because it's. We had gotcha. a, a whole army of tiny guys back in the day. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> my dad was in the army, both my grandfather served. So it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty just interesting. Uh, it just keeps going on and on. Uh, boots, you know. Old boots over here. I love these crates. Right? The crates are cool. They're, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the old uh, foot lockers. Thank that's you. That's right, yeah. Thank you, foot lockers. That's right. Shovels, load out duffel bags. I mean, this guy's got everything here. A lot of BDUs. Look at this. All kinds of colors. Plate carriers he's got. Mm hmm. Right? Voodoo Tactical. I got something right behind you, right? All these displays here. And of course, the first thing I gravitate towards Billy knows. There you go. That's Zippos. It. Bunch of cool Zippos. Obviously, a ton of military stuff here. Got some cool. You pointed out earlier too the challenge coins. Yeah, the challenge coins. I never even knew that he had here. Very collectible. I know yeah. a lot of dudes. Uh, you know, give them to each other, of course. Great gift. Right. Lots of pins. All right. Cool wood signs too. Tons of hats. This is awesome. And of course, we're getting into knives. On the other side, there's all the uh, extra special knives. That's it. Like I said, I'm definitely walking out with something today as well. Me and you both, my mind. friend. <laughs> but don't tell anybody. No, that'll be a see. I'll let everyone guess. Okay. I'll give him a clue. Some more pins. We'll see. You guys are collectors out there. I'm pretty sure he's got something. Yeah. For everybody, right? There's a lot of options. Yeah, here. three for five dollars? That's oh, fantastic. That is really neat. Right? People love collecting stuff. Right? And hey, no. who doesn't need a mask? Right? Of course, yeah. Who doesn't need a gas mask? Well, if you already have a gas mask for everyone in your family and you're not prepping. Exactly. <laughs> for all you prepper guys out there. Yeah. That's cool. So, small meals, MREs, yeah. right? I noticed he has full cases, he too. He does. So we'll if you guys shot at that litter. really want to stock up on it. Yeah. Helmets. Sleeping bags. Full oh, of everything. He's got it. A lot of army surplus. Look at this. Wool coat's nice. Oh wow. It's probably very warm. But they don't have any man sizes here for you and me. No, well we're extra manly, I is guess. Is that what it is? Yeah. Alright. That's how I look at it. We're man plus. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. <laughs> That's, That's pretty big. Duffel. It carries a backpack. Yeah, backpack and everything. So it's like a rucksack, I guess. Right. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I like it. Me too. I like the old, this is like old style woodland camo. Yeah. I just think it's nice, you know what I mean? I see a lot of camo stuff these days, but Digicam and all these different yeah, patterns. Yeah, they're coming out with everything. I just like that, simple. Nice stuff. Yeah. What is this here, guy? Uh, looks like a wetsuit. It's a wetsuit. Uh, definitely I won't never fit thought me. in a million years. I know they're supposed to be tight, but that definitely won't fit me. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> so, it'd probably be a little extra wet. All right, so now, now we're into some knives. So let me give you a slow shot here, so you guys can all pick out your favorites. There is some super cool stuff in here. I'm, I'm right now I'm passing something Billy wants. <laughs> this this whole section right here. Is, yeah. It's pretty nice. 
just a beautiful, beautiful stuff. Some Chris Reeve. Jeff, this uh, bench made right here. Is that yeah. what do they call that? What class is that? Do you know off the top? That is the gold class. Nice. Top of the line bench made stuff. I see a lot of Damascus, some interesting materials. That is beautiful. It's very cool. I kind of really like this uh, uh, Tanto. Chris Reeve. Well, I think you should take a look at it, sir. Stands out. Well, I got a budget today. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> actually, in the back there, you can see that, uh, that Benchmade cigar cutter. You're not going to find those a lot of places. So that is super cool to see here. Really? Actually, I got a bunch of you guys ask if I could do a review on that. I'm sure it cuts fine, but maybe one day. It's quite pricey. Some H&K stuff, believe it or not, huh? Yeah. Some really nice stuff. Is that a Hoke? I believe, I believe it is, yeah. I believe Hogue is I made have. in Henderson, New Jersey, or Henderson, Nevada, I believe. I believe you're right. I have this one at home. Do I haven't you? done a video yet. Not nice. a black blade, I think I have a satin blade. I've got something like this similar at home. Very cool. I, it's really nice. These, I think, ATK, if I'm not mistaken. These are actually really nice photos. Pretty affordable. Yeah. Yeah. Nice stuff. We got an OTF with some knuckles on the front. And I see that. Buck uh, conversion, or maybe maybe it's not the conversion. Maybe it's the newer one that's uh, just an automatic. Is it really? I, I yeah. think you're right. I've never seen one before, actually. Oh yeah, they had conversion kits for years, but now they actually came out with one. Really? Yeah. Super cool. That's so, impressive. Okay. Little old school and new school. Right. Daryl was so great. What do they call the the blade on this, Jeff? When he got home, this one is a, a Warncliffe blade. Warncliffe. Yep. So the Warncliffes are a little bit pointy. Flat edge, but curves down. And if it's a little bit more or less of an edge, it's a sheep's foot. Okay. Yeah. Cool though. Yeah. Damascus, right? Yep. That is a beautiful knife. Looks like a William Henry. Beautiful. Very neat stuff. Some more clothing over here. You got belts, socks. You name it. Now behind me here, this is what a lot of people want to see. Many, many more knives. We got some battle songs here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. You see a Browse, Colt Steel, Artisan Cutlery. Here's a Kershaw Lucha. Just awesome stuff. I will say, I'm probably going to leave with something in this case. Let's see if you guys can guess it. I'll, I'll show you. Come on close up here. Yeah. So you guys can guess. I remember, I'm on a little bit of a budget today. <laughs> But there is some awesome, awesome stuff in here. That's a good price for this. I'm broke before the holidays. Those are the There's that K bar wrench knife I was just talking about not too long ago. My price is $2. Super, super cool stuff. It costs you 200 bucks. I mean, he's got a little bit of everything. You're looking for inexpensive, you're not going to find it in anything bench. Right. You know? It's just the nature. It's just awesome. Going up in price, it's be so there's the man of the day right there doing some business. We got some cold steels back, or uh, excuse me, fixed blades back there. Just awesome stuff. So right now the shop is a little busy, but we're gonna hang out a little bit, and a little bit later we're gonna talk to the man himself. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, so we're back to the knives here, and have a little chat with Joe. How you doing, Joe? Good. How are you? So, uh, like I said, uh, I I've been coming to this shop years and years ago, and I do so much trading these days. I haven't been here in a long time. So when I was talking to Billy. I really wanted to come back get a little tour, see how things have changed. And you've always had a really cool selection of knives, but I, I am blown away. Well, thank you. Because not only do you have a lot of what people are looking for, you have a lot of stuff that people are really looking for and just can't find. You got some good stuff. So some discontinued things, some hard to find stuff, um, some really high end things. Of course, showed that case a little earlier today, but uh, I just want to let people know where you are. Yeah, we're you know? in Port Jervis, New York, 264 East Main Street. If you feel free to call us, our phone number is 845-856-6904. And um, yeah, we're here we're every day through Christmas season. Christmas season get pretty busy and we have a full selection of everybody from Microtech, Chris Reeve, Benchmade, ZT. I do it all. I have production stuff, discontinued stuff, customs. I have a little bit of everything. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, just it's just tip of the iceberg, just kind of scanning some of these cases here. So many cool knives. I'm gonna show some of the stuff over there. It's just really nice. I mean, I, some of them are total blasts of the past. Some I haven't seen before. It's just a hell of a selection. Oh. Yeah. I get a lot of interesting stuff through the collections too. Yeah. Right now I'm working on a, a vintage Microtech collection. Hopefully I have that in a couple of days. I just scored a bunch of Benchmade prototypes. Very so cool. That's gonna be nice. Yeah. Very cool stuff. A lot of fun. Yeah. So if you guys are ever in the area, 
or if you're not and you want to drive eight hours be sure to come out here and, <laughs> or make a phone call and check it out yeah absolutely make a phone call we'll very, deal over the phone joe's know? very easy to talk to absolutely. so if you have questions interested in something specific give him a call you know we appreciate it we're a family-owned business we've been doing this well i've been doing it since i was a kid if you want to be technical <laughs> since the state troopers dragged me out of middle school for selling knives in the middle school that's how long <laughs> i've been doing this <laughs> um, but it's something I really have uh, been doing this for a long time and I really enjoy it and great people come in here and I get to talk knives with people and play with knives for a living. Can't beat that. No, that's, uh, that's something Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Now, I did talk before, I wanted to bring it up on camera because you have some other businesses as well. Yes, I have a laser engraving business. We do plaques, awards, trophies, gifts, stuff like that. And another cool. one of my passions other than knives is Israeli martial arts. I train with Israeli special forces. I'm a black belt in Haganah, which is Israeli special forces combat training hand-to-hand -hand combat, knife fighting, pistol, the full training of the Israeli Special Forces. And I also am a black belt in Israeli knife fighting. We have, um, we're in Milford, Pennsylvania. It's called Hudson Valley Haganah. And I got a... Yeah, sure, if you got a pamphlet. Got a brochure there. That's the man we train under, Mike Lee Canaric, Galani Brigade Special Forces. Very cool. And we do everything from jujitsu to knife fighting, hand-to-hand -hand combat, self-defense Haganah, um, Muay Thai, we do it all. That's awesome. We're just talking about, you got some classes coming up for uh, carjacking scenarios? We do. In the spring, we usually do a carjacking seminar, an anti-carjacking yes, seminar. Yes, anti-carjacking. We don't teach people to carjack, <laughs> um, but we do anti-carjacking, but we also do specialized weaponry like um, baton fighting. Okay. But the nice thing about the Israeli is it's not traditional It's not traditional martial arts. Yeah. It's really preparing people to handle violent situations. Very important. We'll kick you in the groin and gouge your eye. That's because that's what works. That's, that's awesome. what works in a violent encounter. Yeah. That's nowadays, true. Nowadays, right? Yeah. You never know nowadays. It's, it's, it's way, not a sport. It's fighting. Yeah. It's getting it's getting dangerous out there. We do a lot of gun disarms. Yeah. We do active shooter, anti-terror stuff. It's all again all curriculum from the Israeli special forces. That is uh, extremely handy. Yeah. You know, we live in a tough world these days. And it's all really stuff prepared. I hope I never need to use. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, come on down, check it out. It is absolutely awesome. As I mentioned. As soon as I shut this camera off, I'm gonna get something in here. I don't know what yet, if you guys want to guess, but uh, it's tough because I, I, you know, just so I saw much. 20 knives that just I want to so get to. So much, right? <laughs> <laughs> Means I'm doing my job. Exactly. Absolutely. Joe, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Billy, thanks for coming out. Hey, absolutely. Give me the special tour Good as well. To see you again. Absolutely. And thanks for watching, guys. Well, thank you very much for coming. Hope you have an awesome day, and we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.